Greetings and salutations, this is Emperor Artemis Bayesian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. Uh. Today we're bringing you uh, the Gar Empire Staff Army. Staff Army. Uh, we are now back on the horse, so to speak. Uh, we are back on to making videos, just as we did before. Um, the gaming room is almost finished, it still has a few additional bits to do. Minor bits. Minor so. bits. Um, we've got some drafts coming and some other stuff, uh, so we'll show you that uh, when it's done. When the gaming room is finally finished, we will give you a tour. Um, so we haven't had time to do any actual battles or anything, mainly because we're having new windows and doors fitted as well. Yeah. So that's so currently everything's covered in dust sheets, and we've got to put new blinds up. And ah, uh, uh -huh. it's stressful, isn't it? Yeah. And it. it, it I spent. All week after the after the camp after the finished fixing everything in, we spent the entire day cleaning up because it was full of nests. Dust. Yeah. Just dust gets everywhere. My room was covered in bands of brick. Yeah, yeah, that's not the best brick to have. Uh, so we have the Beyond Beyond the Gates of Antares Gar Empire Starter Army, and I am not actually going to do the entire presentation to this video because these figures aren't mine. The my, the, the, my trusty sidekicks, so I will let you take the show from there. By the way, it's the only time I'll ever be doing an unboxing video. Why? Because, well, unless we get the, the, the next Gar box set, yes. Right, well, okay. This is, there's nothing else for what's mine. Right. Everything right. else is yours. Well, it's not actually, is it? You're judging me. No, I'm not saying anything. Carry on. Right, right so, in here, we have. A box. Let's see in a minute. Uh huh. In a minute. Alright, so we have uh, ten, ten bases. We have three, uh, three units of battle squad and six. Of uh, assault. So that's that's what I have there. Basic things, and main main job is here inside this nice box. Just open it here. Oh, we've got next base. All right, so what do we have here? Right, we have a big base here. Um, that's our. If you can see in that box, and that's our commander of our little. No, it's a heavy weapons platform. All right. Um, a guy with um, base units, basically infantry units, who haven't got suit of armor, which is unlucky for them. Why are they not wearing armor? Because they lost a battle, or they didn't do well whatever they were, they were told to do, like scout scouting missions thing, and so they were taken away from their armor. I think that's for the head weapon teams there. Um, it's like a grunt. <laughs> it's like a grunt. Um, we have oh, we have some drones, right? Yeah, best thing we're gonna find in this. Finally, finally got some drones. It's equal match. Some jetpacks. They're just survival packs. So this is just the standard kit. Standard kit. Some towers. Uh, st stands for the. Um, we've got drones, and we have a little bit more units in here. We have a weird guy again, small weird people. These guys are not very smart, are they? Gar? No, they're not. Right. Yeah. They're, they're not meant to be. You don't tend to find the brightest and the best serving in the front line. I thought it was all the way around. Uh, no, well, no, there, there's a certain bit of that. Uh, but, oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Uh. These guys have basically already failed, so they've now got to fight without their armour. Um, not have any more resources wasted on them. Uh, so they're probably going to get themselves killed, so why waste decent equipment on them if you're going to be doing that? Yeah, yeah, true, very, very true. Um, so shall we see exactly what it is you get? Um, I yes. don't know if you have bought the Antares game. The chances are you've already got some gar, because at the moment the box set 
the, his release of the game, um, you get two units of Gar and Fatog, which is yeah. one of the characters from the game. Actually, Gar. no, you get two units of Gars and you have to buy Fatog and Fatog separately. Oh, we, we got it in the deal, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, you also get, uh, I think, two or th what, three squads of Concord and some other Concord troops. And so we have Concord, which we were never actually planning on getting. And we have Gar, which we were planning on getting. Yeah. Um, well, we'll I was planning on getting. Well, we were going to do Freeborn versus Gar, but now we've got a Concord, we may as well do Concord as well. Eventually, we'd like to pan out and do all of them. Yeah. But I would really like one day for Warlord to bring out something akin to Tyranids, because that would be really cool, some sort of really alien life form to fight, because at the moment everything seems to be pretty much humanoid, and they're all basically. Well, what about the Argonians? Well, they're aliens, but um, the, 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 they're basically aliens, but they're related to humans in the sense that they've got two arms and two legs and a head with a face, uh, which means that genetically we're, we're the same. Somewhere along the line, we're related um, in the same way that humans are related to like starfish and stuff, because it's got five appendages. Basically, aliens are completely alien, as in they're, they're, they they would become nothing like us because they wouldn't share any of our genome whatsoever. Um, yeah, but anyway, here are Gar. Uh, they're genetic, well, genetically altered soldiers um, made thousands of years ago to fight against uh, humans and stuff. Uh, the original guys who created them, who, who were a, a sect of humanity, died out, leaving only their machines to carry on the fight, and that's what these are. Um, if you've ever read War of the Worlds, uh, the original, um, the fighting machines are really the Martians. The, the Martians themselves, the huge bear-like things, are merely the brain that operates a fighting machine. So the fighting machines are the Martians, and the, and the Martians are the brains of the fighting machines. Mm -hmm. uh, in the same way that the Gar are actually the machines, the fighting machines you can see on the box there, they they are the Gar. You can see a better, we know what Gar look like. Uh, yeah, they're the Gar. Like him, yeah. yeah, they're the Gar. Uh, the, the the machines are crewed by basically brains with arms and legs. That, yeah. That's as simple as it goes. Um, Gar are extremely vicious and I want to say they enjoy fighting. They're designed to fight, so that they're bred for fighting. Um, but they, they're they pretty pretty tough. I mean, they're the, one of the hardest things in the game to actually fight. Shooting at a guy is basically the same as shooting at a tank. Yeah. Uh, their battle suits are covered in displacer fields and stuff, which, which may, may be off like and all that, but um, they're covered in shields which p protect them. Um, the, the the suits themselves are also heavily armed. They now have drones, which is very useful for me. Yes, and they've got drones. Um, so I'm going to hit you better. So, yeah, they're, they're very useful um, things, drones. Yeah. Uh, because they're plus one to your firing and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what these drones are. Um, I'll have a look, shall I? Let's see. Uh, your standard guard, the, the, you, in the box you get, what is it? What do you get? Two tactical squads? Yeah, two, two tactical squads and you get one assault. One assault squad, right. So your tactical squad and assault squad, they're basically standard guard. But uh, the tactical squad, uh, the battle squads have... The tactical squads, battle squads, have scourer cannons, and the assault squads have a claw, a claw, a, gou a gouger, and a uh, plasma claw. So all together, if you've seen our gar versus whatever, um, I, yeah. I I have two assault, and I have oh three battle squads. Yeah, I think I think that we're just gonna be more of an even match. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, the other guys you can see, the lead figures, are the outcasts. Um, they're, they're equipped with lugger guns, which are basically a standard sort of battle rifle, which is generally used by most things. Um, every race has it in, in, in Antares has its own version of a plasma rifle or a, a laser rifle or whatever you want to call it. It's a generic sci-fi gun. In the same way that an M16 is the same as an AK-47, there may be different designs, may work differently, may be different costs, but they're both assault rifles, 
the boss is the same thing. Um, so they're equipped with lugger guns and a disruptor cannon, which is an impressive gun. Which... I've killed him lots of times. Uh, yeah, the, the disruptor gun is quite a good gun. Um, so that's it. That, that, that's basically that. Uh, we will skip on to the um, drones. Do we have the drones listed here? Drones will be here somewhere. Drones. Drones, drones, drones. No drones in there? Cannot find them. That's that they're somewhere. No, oh, I don't know. They'll be in here somewhere. I can't bother looking up. <laughs> uh, basically, they're drones. I assume they're targeting drones that can be used for scouting. I Plus assume. One. Yeah. I assume, but uh, I might, may stand corrected. Uh, so the next thing is to uh, paint these guys up, isn't it? Yep, yeah, and stick them together with glue. Yep, yeah, we're going to paint them up. Oh, yeah, stick them together first and then paint them up. And they should look really good when they're done. So, yeah. I'm okay. really not looking forward to fighting these guys. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to be upgrading my Freeborn, getting a few other things from my Freeborn army. Uh, there's not a huge amount available for them yet, but... I certainly intend to do something about that. Uh, well, I had just released them, what, the, the one, the free bomb with the, on the bikes. Yeah, the, jet, the skimmers, the, the yeah. jet bike things. Uh, yeah, that should be quite I cool. said just, it's probably been a while now <laughs> since I looked it up. It came out after Christmas. I was going to get the Concorde jet bikes first, but then we got sidetracked by all this other stuff. Uh, so that's it. That, 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 that is the end of the video, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you're thinking of getting a Gao army, this is what you get in the box. And by the way, you get seven infantry <coughs> and one or uh, one uh, head weapons team. Yeah. And uh, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, over to you again. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I love that all our subscribers and all the likes we get. Um, comment down below what you think of this Gao army and if you think it will crush the free bond Concord. That's what I think anyway. I don't know if them lot know think that well. Well, we'll find out. Yep. So it's goodbye from me. And goodbye from him.